Okay, so for the your turns on the square roots, we are going to be looking at three problems. The first one is the square root of 81. So hopefully you look at the square root of 81 and realize that that is a perfect square. It is the number 9. Again, if I looked at 9 squared, I would get 81. That is why the square root of 81 is 9. Now, the second one, 18, he's not perfect. There's nothing that multiplies times itself to give me 18. So I do need to start breaking him down. Again, remember it doesn't matter how you start to break them down as long as you go to prime numbers. So we could use 3 and 6. 6 is 3 times 2. So remember I'm going to cross out that 6 because I don't want to talk about him. I only want to talk about the 3, the 3, and the 2. So since we have a pair of 3's, remember that the 3 gets to go outside, just one of them. Square root of whatever's left underneath, in this case a 2. So that would be 3 square roots of 2. Okay, let's do the same thing for 250. Again, I love it when things end in a 0 because that means I can easily break it up with 10. So this would be 25 times 10. 25 is 5 times 5. Again, I'm going to cross that 25 out because I don't want to talk about them anymore. And 10 is 5 times 2. So as you can see, we have a pair, just one pair of fives. Again, only one of those fives gets to come outside. So we're going to take our five out, square root. Now notice that you have two terms left underneath here, just because you have the five and the two. You're actually going to multiply them back together to give you 10 underneath your radical. So we would have 200 and square root of 250 is the same thing as five square roots of 10.